here on a wild new camping experience. So we finally reached our spot and wow, it's definitely beautiful. So there is a lot of stones as you can see. So we decided to bring our four by four instead of the van because we can't handle this much. So this is a public place, so we are going to try this new thing out and we are going to be cooking, camping, and playing some music, so let's go! This is going to be our place for the night and looks like someone has made it very nice. People have stayed here before. But this place isn't a real campsite. It's off-grid, totally in the middle of nowhere, in the woods. So this is going to be a new experience for us, so let's look around the campsite, or the site. Looks like there's some water over here, and a bunch of other stuff. We've got some fireplace. Filled with sticks. Fire pit! We got more water. Very muddy area. <laughs> and more rocks. So I have two things to show you guys. First, is this very compact stool which is going to be my chair for the night and then second is this we have tried out many fire pits in the past but this one stood out to us this is a tent wood stove slash fire pit let's assemble it it is a very easy process. Yeah. Even I can do it. There we go. All done. So, this usually comes with a top, but we are going to be using it as a fire pit, so we are just going to leave it as it is. Okay, so I did some fire prep. We got the Kindle prepped up. The wood off to the side. Some shavings over here. Oh, and I got a fire starter. And some matches. Kids, don't try this at home. There you have it, a fire, folks. Oh yeah, can't forget about that.
I'm on fire, guys. So I am prepping to make kebab. That's the right word. So I already did one, and time to do the other. Got the stem off. This is the first time me doing this, so hopefully I do good. There's a sticker. <laughs> oh well. Sticker off. And there you go. Vegetables prepared. So all the chicken has been separated. Now time to make our own skewers. So first, we got chicken piece number one. Right? And we got pepper, number one. Yeah. Then onion piece, number one. And repito until, or uh, repita until completion. So I've made two kebabs so far, and let's make another one. This one is really hot. So you got the chicken. Wow, big piece of chicken. Bell pepper. And onion. Make sure you don't hurt yourself when you're doing this. If you do it. Because I've definitely focused on before. Okay, again. Chicken. Big piece of chicken. Bell pepper. Wow, that's, that's a nice sound. Nice and relaxing sound. And onion. Chicken. Oh, I might fall off. Yep, do it. Chicken. Let's do it again. And there we go. Time to make our fourth and last skewer. This food is looking great. The chicken is going to be delicious. I just can't wait to eat this. Mm. Man, the batch of, the first batch of chicken was so good. So we're trying, we're putting on another batch of chicken and trying a different method, putting it in the direct way. Oh. 
So I made my own kebab and it is delicious. Look at how good that looks. I know you're supposed to keep it on the skewer, but the skewer was way too hot. But it's so, so good. Mm. So we plan to do music and play a song. I brought all my um, stuff, the, the keyboard and everything for it, but it got super dark very quickly. So we couldn't do that. But that song will be coming soon, so wait for it. It's almost, well, it is dark. And I'm sitting here with the fire eating kebab off the skewer with my camping times. 